So I was just starting to scout around over here on Scorched Earth, and I actually found something super weird, which I'll show you in a second. There's a guy on this obelisk just raising like a bunch of baby manas, which is really, really weird, especially for Asia servers. Like he has no turrets or anything, so there's not really anything I'm gonna do here besides a uh, pounce on him as soon as I get a chance. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. And he's dead. Get a bunch of uh, some baby bananas on him. Let's get rid of his beds. I don't want him to spawn back in. And we're probably just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to take this all out. If you're just getting into the series, you might be like, Wow, you're a terrible person. Like, you're killing all these guys' dinos. Uh, pretty much, these servers are filled only, almost only with, like, cheaters and stuff like that. So we don't really... Uh, we're just kind of mean to everybody on these servers. It's the way that it is. We kill everybody's dinos, we fight everybody. We don't really have a lot of mercy for anybody associated with the cheaters, which I know that these guys are. So, I'll just take all, all his dinos. I'm sorry, good sir, for wasting the past three hours of your life raising these dinos just for me to kill them all. But, uh... I don't really care about those baby manas that he had on them. Um, maybe I'll go back and pick those up in a second. Let's take out this mana and this giga, just in case he comes back. I'm not really sure if he will be able to get back here very quickly, though. Okay, so Primus, Primmy Saddle on that. Gotta take out this giga, that's the main thing I want gone. And then I'll probably just dip out of here afterwards uh got some good plans today another good day of transfers and scouting on the asia servers i'm hoping we can maybe find some bases with some juicy loot in them that is always what we're after and uh some more dinos for sure oh gosh this raged i forget that gigas rage so easy to to just manas but oh rip dude it's chomping all their own dinos all right, Giga down. So we got some more uh, baby manas right there. Yeah, I don't really know. I already said this, but like, it's super weird. You, you just find the weirdest stuff on here. It's like people expect that this to be like a PVE server or something, and uh, maybe they that's what it is. But like, no one ever protects their stuff. They always just have like two turrets on it or no turrets like this. Okay, so we got a shotgun, nothing really in here. I actually have a weird feeling that these guys have a sky base, like on a Quetzal, because of the way that like this is set up. It's really weird for them to just be like raising dinos in the open here. Alright boys, I was trying to leave, but for some reason I can't transfer out, so I thought I'd just wait another timer. If I can get this mana out. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep scouting. For some reason I can't transfer off, so we will finish scouting the rest of the map. I haven't really scouted the whole edge, so maybe we'll just do that, I guess. Uh, maybe there's something hidden out here. You never know what you're gonna find. So let's go. Oh gosh, there's a guy right here. Man, man, let's put our armor on. I'll actually, I'm always down for a fight, dude. If people will fight fair on these servers, I'm like super, super down. Who is this? Three box. Okay, this is three box drive. I think it's the same guys. I just like murdered all their manas here. Try to kill them off the top. He just has desert gear on, so I could probably hit him off. Oh, he's unfrozen. I should- aw, oh, dude, I should have just shot him off. I wasn't even thinking. I have a Fabby on me. Oof, he's got some high melee on that too. I almost, I almost got frozen, even with my good saddle. It's been a minute since I fought someone on- on mana guards, though. It really has. Like, I don't- I don't know. This used to be, like, super common, but, like, there's other things people use now. So let's, uh... Ever since like net guns and Z and shadow mains, people don't really use like mana fights that often anymore. Okay, as soon as this guy, I think he can be frozen here. 
I think his 30 seconds is just about up. Let's here. Let me try. Here, buddy. Okay, he's froze. No, move. Here we go. My mana got in the way there. It's like, move, dude. I used to do that all the time, dude. That was like the play. People don't really know about doing that, I feel like. But you free somebody and then you uh, just shoot them off the top. That's actually the, the way to go. So Prim Saddle is all we're going to get. Kind of unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Probably not a lot more for us to do here. We're probably going to head over to Ragnarok and scout around over there. Okay, there's a few heavies right here. All right, boys, we're over on Ragnarok. Uh, transferred over on my other character. And uh, we're just scouting around. This is one of the beaver caves, if you know this spot. For some reason, I feel like this spot is like always built in on these Asia servers, which is kind of weird, but you know, they must like it. Okay, so we are going to let me see if this is on tamed creatures or not. It's not shooting my mana. Ouch. Shooting me. So there's a few more heavies inside. I can't really see. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so laggy. Super, super laggy here. Come on. You can see I'm getting shot, then, like, you hear the turret noise, like, way later. I think we're just about good. So one of these is soaked, the other one isn't, but I just need to cover it up. All right, I'm back. I DC'd for a second there. Okay, let's, uh, there's just one more turret right here, I think. Okay, that should be good. Okay, that turret's down. I don't see any more, so I think we're chilling. The generator's off. And here, a bunch of weird drop stuff, it looks like. This guy's been running that ice cave, the ice cave drops. Oh gosh, dude. Still a turret. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. It's so laggy, like I was like, didn't even know I was getting shot. All right, boys, we finally ran all the way back here. It took me like 10 minutes. So let's put this, uh, we got a sleeping bag down at least now. So there's just that one turret in the corner. I just need to be careful not to get shot by it. Here, let me snag some of this scuffed armor these guys had. Just in case, I uh, so I don't die. Take a few of this. You got any legs for me? Yes. Any gloves? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I just need to get this one turret like covered up. Okay, that should be good, I think. Ouch. Okay, we got my stuff. It's just this one generator over here. Actually, I don't really want to blow up everything. I think we're just going to try to just turn this off. I can access this. Come on. Can I flamethrower it? Come on, dude. There we go. I can chop it up. Alright, all down, finally. Yeah, that turret's off. Okay. I think we're all good. We're gonna have to see how much stuff these, these guys actually have. This kind of looks like just like a little personal base. That's a huge thing over here on Asia servers. I don't know why there'll be like a massive tribe who has like a big base, but then like every single player has their own little base somewhere on the map. For some reason they like doing that. So uh, maybe this is what we've stumbled onto.
Pin coded. Okay, so we're on the, I went to the next server and literally in the exact same spot, there's like this, another wacky base. I'm not really sure what it is about this spot, but. You know, I kind of got beamed there, that was stupid. But uh, you can see this, uh, this nice 2016 style build with the uh, windows and the turrets pointed through them. Pretty, uh, pretty wacky, so. Not really sure what's going on here, but we're going to pop in here, see maybe they have some loot for us. Okay, there we go, got our C4 down. Okay, it's a little laggy, by the way, if you're wondering like why things are being weird. I don't know what it is about Ragnarok servers today though, but they're really bad. Okay, there's just this one turret. I'm just gonna grab the ammo. I doubt he pin coded it. Yeah, he did not. Thank you for the ammo. I see some cryo fridges though. Okay, so first one. Ooh, baby. Uh, some dinos, but I think that these are all just like tamed, weird dinos. I'll take I'll take the a few things. I'll take the datons. I actually need those. Um, not gonna. T I'll take the, some sheep. Uh, but yeah, I don't. It's not like anything that I don't really need. I'm not gonna take like these uh frogs or anything. Like these guys can go ahead and keep those. So he's got a few consumables for us, got some meds, some uh, some soups, not too bad, not too bad. So next fridge, okay, he's got a bunch of gigas, but these are, I bet these are all tamed. I don't think this guy's a single like good dino on him, he has, so he's got some gigas, but they're all tamed. I still might take these because they're pretty good. Alrighty boys, so we're just wrapping it up. I uh, I got some Quetzals, which is huge. Really needed the Quetzals for the, like, if I want to hatch frame Quetzal a base, something like that. So pretty stoked on the Quetzals we got. We got some Gigas too. A um, bunch of candy, some pearls, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But these, like, little bases, this is a really good way to get started on Asia. Just find these little bases that have some dinos, and that will give you a really big start. Right, boy, so we we're like, I'm trying to read this underworld um, right now. So there's like four tech turrets right up there on the ground, but now my uh, turtles are like in the way of them. So I think that they should, shouldn't just be me and I should be okay. So they're only on survivors. So I can cheese them pretty easy, I think. Okay, let's go up. Right, so you can kind of see there's like three heavies in the back there then the three techs in the front I'm just gonna see what we can do with this yeah, that's weird the, that heavy the heavies must not have ammo in them okay so we are damaging the tech turrets from there just gonna toss a bunch of grenades in here and then hopefully we'll take these tech turrets down. Okay, there goes the heavies, perfect. Oh gosh. Dude, I've used so many grenades on these tech turrets, I swear. So they like buffed tech turrets a while back and like double their health it is like the worst thing ever if you're not in like a 6x cave it's almost it's like impossible to destroy tech turrets they're like i think it's 18 c4 for like maybe it's not that many maybe it's 12 or something but it's like a lot of c4 for the tech turret and it's like a crazy amount of grenades i'm just like i had like 30 tech grenades they're not even breaking these things finally there goes one Okay, so, uh, I think that's the last turret. I think that last one doesn't have ammo. We'll just blow up this generator afterwards anyway. 
I guess we'll go see if there's anything in this uh, underworld cave. You never know. Some shards in here. Alrighty, boys. So that is where we're going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys are still enjoying Asia and appreciate all of your support in the comments. It really means a lot. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Not really much more to say than that. Uh, we'll have to catch you guys in the next video. Until then, peace, my dudes.